A rally today outside Staten Island University Hospital where nurses have overwhelmingly voted to strike. They're demanding better pay and staffing just weeks before their contract expires at the end of the month. Eyewitness News reporter Pedro Rivera is live at the hospital in Dongan Hills. Pedro? Sandra, overwhelmingly is the perfect way to put it, especially when you have 97.3% of nurses who voted in this survey agree to approve this strike. Now, both sides say that they don't want this walkout to happen at all and that they want a priority to be on patient care. But the reality is the two sides aren't even close to an agreement that's set to expire on March 31st. 1,300 nurses at Staten Island University Hospital could be off the hospital floor and onto picket lines if a new contract is not reached soon. What is not well doing? They kicking us to the curb, yep. and we're not gonna put up with it, are we, guys? Yeah. On Wednesday, the New York State Nurses Association announced 97.3% of their voting members approved the strike for nurses at Northwell Staten Island University Hospital. We're raising our voices. We want pay equity. We want safe staffing. The union says they're asking for a 12% increase in 2024 and a 10% increase in 2025. They're also asking for better staffing ratios. Depending on the department, they'd like to see one nurse for every four patients. They say right now it's almost almost one nurse to every 10 patients. The two sides are far apart. There's no dignity, there's no respect. Shayna Lur has been a registered nurse at the hospital for a year and a half and says the lack of staffing hurts patient care. All we're asking for is to be safe and, and deliver safety and care to our patients, and that's so minimal. In a statement from Northwell, they say they will continue to bargain in good faith with the union on his contract, which is set to expire in just 18 days. It went on to say in part, Quote, our goal is to reach an agreement that continues to provide our valued nurses with competitive compensation and benefits and ensures a safe, supportive working environment that enables them to provide exceptional care that our patients and community have come to trust. Nurses tell me they've seen an influx of staff leaving the borough to take better pay elsewhere and believe it's time to take care of Staten Island. We're not the forgotten borough. We are part of New York City and we need to care for our communities. The two sides will be back at the bargaining table tomorrow and Friday, hoping to get a deal done because if they do not, they could have an indefinite strike begin as early as April 1st, a day after the current contract expires.